This is absolutely killing the game. And I can only imagine how bad it's affecting players that are even ahead of me. You see, I didn't start this game until a week ago. I'm AR33 right now. And I'm now experiencing what everyone was talking about in our streams when we started the stream Genshin. Everybody kept saying, oh, just wait till you get to AR35. Everything just slows down to a halt. Dude, I'm not even at 35 yet. 30 all on its own is slow as hell, which completely takes the motivation out of me to grind after 30. 35. Like if 30 to 35 is already this slow, 35 to 40 has got to be a nightmare. Which brings us to the talking point of today. Fellas, we're talking about resins and essentially what purpose these things actually hold inside of Genshin, why you desperately need them and why they are a thing. Because essentially they serve one purpose or actually two purposes. Purpose number one, to throttle your experience. Again, we said it the other day in our review, a lot of great things about Genshin. The monetization though and the throttling is where I draw the line on this game. Risen right here, 100% is meant to throttle your experience. You cannot get adventure rank without first coughing up these reasons after killing a boss, after doing domains. You can't even get rewards, just basic rewards, unless you offer resins and you only get a certain amount every single day, which takes us to point number two. You can refresh your resin with primo gems and a lot of them. So two purposes, these little things actually serve. Throttle your experience and deplete you of your primo gems so you can't spend them on wishes and instead you spend money on wishes and like the only reason why no one is outright hating on Genshin is because everybody's like oh it's a gacha game oh it's a free-to-play game look I'm new to gacha games I understand that they have to win on some fronts they have to make money somehow I even mentioned it the other day that the gacha system even though it's unforgiving as hell I know there's a pity system some things I can overlook considering it is a completely free game but this whole reason debate resin debate whatever should not be a hard subject for all of us to agree on it throttles us it depletes us it's meant to serve those purposes and it does so effectively thus concluding that mahoya here is doing exactly what i was afraid of them doing they are breaking it off into their player base like it's one thing to have a sound monetization system it's one thing to win on one front but to find yourself 40 50 60 hours into the game this late in the ranks and suddenly have a wall here limiting your experience a wall here limiting your drops it's very apparent that this game was designed to lure you in to give you the feel that your progression is fast meaningful in-game content is on the horizon to then suddenly box you in and force you out of all your resources now i know genshin came out or mahoya came out and said that they were looking to address this but this won't be addressed until 1.1 and that's not until november what 11th 12th so you may not be experiencing this pain right here, right now. But at some point from now until then, you will experience this. And considering I just started this game a week ago and I'm already running into this situation, this will hands down kill this game. Not the gotcha system, not the fact that I never can get Diluc. No, this single XP throttling is what's going to kill the game for most of us. Now, inside of your inventory, as you do things, as you progress, you can obtain these things called fragile resins. They're these consumables. You get 60 resins from them and you can burn through them giving yourself more resin thus giving yourself more adventure rake experience i've been saving a mine, and i think a lot of us were saving it up for the later ranks but it's become apparent that you're just gonna have to burn them to even get to ar40 and in my case to even get to ar35 currently right now at least in my inner circle of friends they get on genshin for about 10 minutes a day now just 10 minutes they get on they do their commissions and then they get off some of them might go burn their resins real quick but that's the extent of it that's the gameplay experience a game that originally starts off with you just attacking the world with an unlimited amount of things to do now just turns into a daily checklist of like the most unengaging quests you can imagine kill a couple things here and there and that's it and it's obvious that mahoya here is trying to make it boring they're not giving you interesting commission quests they're not giving you a lot of adventure rank experience with these commission quests they're purposely making it boring just to push us to spend everything we have to buy more of these resins to actually play the content that we want then you know that's the crazy thing outside of the abyss doing domains and killing these world bosses those are extremely fun to me but you can't even loot them unless you have these things so how do we fix this well like i said my hoya already said they're not going to be addressing this or it probably won't be addressed to 1.1 which i think is bullshit i think they could address it right now by literally halving the cost of resin across the board half the cost for domains for world bosses 
Anything that requires resins, make it half off. Instead of 20 resin, make it 10. Instead of 40, make it 20, etc. And then take it a step further. Don't amp up the cost of Primo gems when it comes to buying resins. This is so aggravating for me. It starts off, what is it, like a one-to-one -one ratio? Is that right? And then quickly amps up, costing exponentially more Primo gems in comparison to how much resin you get. They do this purposely because if you're like looking at the next adventure rank, you're like, oh my God, I'm right here. I'm right here, man. I can get that next rank up right now if I just spend 200 primo gems. That's how they get you. Again, it's to deplete us from primo gems, to deplete us from getting those free wishes, those things that we earn in game. It's a sound design, but malicious as hell. And again, when we review this game, I barely touched on resin because I wasn't to the point where I was getting blue balls. But now, oh, we're there. XP throttling in any game has never been popular. Never. XP throttling though with a gotcha system. How do you guys do this how has anyone ever played a game like this look if this game wasn't so damn good if it wasn't so much fun i would make it my life's quest to completely shit all over this game but the only reason why is because it's actually a good freaking game this right here though these resins everything revolving around them their costs their purposes their throttling i would say from level one all the way to 30 ar 30 is relatively the same for everyone free to play and pay to win players or pay to flex whatever but past that point past that points it's obvious folks that actually buy genesis crystals converts them to primo gems thus converting them to resins by the way any game you play that has like three different currencies or four and there's constant conversions always go back to the root again money injected into this game equals rewards and in this case equals experience therefore throttling experience hurts everyone but especially hurts the free-to-play player if this isn't addressed like soon like within the next week maybe even sooner you're gonna see mass waves of people quitting this game. There's a good chance I'm going to quit this game. And I know somebody brought this up the other day in the stream. They're like, what's the difference between this and rating inside of Destiny 2? You get rewards once a week. What's the deal? The difference is, is the level of content here, guys. It's not like these world bosses in these domains are the equivalent of raids in Destiny 2. No, this is like strikes. Imagine getting into Destiny 2. You played three strikes and then suddenly the game goes, oh, you want to play more? Sure, you can play more, but you literally get nothing from this strike. No chance of getting loot, no XP, no nothing. You're literally just playing for no reason. Oh, but wait, if you pay silver, you can keep earning loot. Oh, but by the way, right now it's going to cost you 50 silver. The next strike is going to cost you 100 silver. And the next strike is going to cost you 200 silver. Don't worry, this number is going to keep going up until you're broke. Have fun. Hands down, guys. I like free to play games because people have access to the game. Some games do it better than others. But this resin system, outright predatory, outright malicious. And it only serves the purpose of depleting you of your primo gems and throttling your experience so that you go out of your mind and start paying real money. And before you jump up and say, oh man, this is just part of the gotcha system. This is how it works. This is how every gotcha game is. Then this hands down will be the only gotcha game I will ever play. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.